Welcome to part 5. I will show you how to build the front end section of the sidekick frame and the steering column support. Let's get started. This is the front end section we will build in this video. The following parts are needed to build the front end. 4 one and a quarter inch elbows, 6 one and a quarter inch tees, 6 one and a quarter inch by 2 and 1 eighth inch PVC pipe, one one and a quarter by eleven and three quarter inch PVC pipe, and one one and a quarter inch by twenty inch PVC pipe. Each piece is cut square, cleaned, labeled with the size, and ready to be assembled. Refer to the plans on the front end and steering column assembly and follow along. Glue the two and one eighth inch PVC pipe to the correct end of the T's. Tap the PVC pipe with a 2x4. Wipe off any excess glue with the towel. Dry fit an elbow on the end of one of the tees. Use a 2x4 that is square to hold the T in an upright position. Place a piece of blue painter's tape on the PVC pipe and mark the alignment of the T and elbow. Use a razor and cut at the joint. Remove the elbow. Apply primer and glue to the fittings. Assemble the fittings and align on the mark. Push the fittings together to create a tight fit at the joint. Work faster than the glue. Check the square and make adjustments if necessary. Apply primer and glue to the next tee. Make sure the PVC pipe is set properly inside the T and the T is straight and square. Push and hold the T flat against the table. Dry fit an elbow to the T. Make sure it is square and in an upright position. Place a piece of blue painter's tape on the PVC pipe and mark the alignment of the T and elbow. Use a razor and cut at the joint. When dry fitting PVC parts, sometimes they can be difficult to remove. For an easy way to remove PVC fittings, use a wooden dowel. Insert the wooden dowel inside the pipe and knock the fitting off. You can use different size and lengths of wooden dowels as needed. This will not damage the PVC pipe and fittings like hammers, pliers, screwdrivers, and other tools when trying to remove the fittings. Glue the elbow to the T. Make sure the fitting is square and aligned on the mark. Push the T and elbow together to make a tight fit at the joint.
There are areas of the front end you will not glue. You will need to make angle adjustments during the frame, dash, and top assembly, so these parts must move freely in order to complete the frame before gluing. The front end assembly is now complete. This is the steering column support section we will build in this video. The following parts are needed to build the steering column support. Two one and a quarter inch elbows, two one and a quarter inch tees, one one and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch by one inch tee. You will need to drill a 1 and 3 8 inch hole in the bottom of the T. 3 1 and a quarter by 2 and 1 8 inch PVC pipe. 1 1 and a quarter inch by 9 and 3 quarter inch PVC pipe. And 2 1 and a quarter inch by 9 inch PVC pipe. Each piece is cut square, clean, labeled with the size and ready to be assembled. Dry fit the parts for the steering column support. Only glue the two and one eighth inch PVC pipe to the correct end of the T's. Do not glue any other parts. By leaving the parts dry, you can move the fittings to the correct angle during the frame assembly. Because of all the angles, it is best to anchor with screws after the top and steering are assembled. The steering column support is now complete. Be sure to watch part 6. I will build the front axle assembly. Thanks for watching.